perfect. No, I really don't give a fuck about all the conspiracies. I don't give a fuck about what's happening here and there. All I know is that war is coming. That's all I need to know. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I don't care about who, who pulling the strings, who this. They all gonna get it. All I need to know is that the enemy is here. I mean, it's time for me to train. It's time for me to go out patrol, run recon, go out with my brothers and operate. It's time for me to show the enemy that there's many of us who take it very seriously when it comes to the defense and the safety of our republic. Don't confuse us those Republicans and those Democrats because we don't view them as Americans anyway. We view them as traitors, loyalists, and sellouts. It's easy to manipulate and deceive them. Don't let them get you get you comfortable. You know, we got this Trojan horse that had infiltrated our republic. That's fine. We remember. We the people will remember. We remember those who put them on buses and sent them across the republic. We remember those who cut the gate and allowed them through. We will remember. And if you think that this would be like a Syria and Israel, Ukraine, if you think this would be like any of those conflicts, we had hundreds of thousands of people running away and fleeing. You are sadly mistaken. The minute you guys start attacking, the minute American blood started run red in our grass and on our pavement, you will suffer and you will suffer in the worst way. Because once you open up that can, it will be impossible for you to close. You're going to find out real quick that Americans are just as fanatical about their beliefs and liberty as you are about your beliefs and whatever the fuck you're doing. And I'm going to tell you something right now. The minute that can is opened up, you will not be able to close it. You will be hunted down. You will be persecuted. You will be chased to the ends of the earth. We will never give up. We will never relent. We will never surrender because this is our home. What the fuck y'all think this shit is? Y'all think we're going to bend and eat? Y'all think we're going to willing to be slaves? You think we're going to run and hide? You think, I watch right now, as you got videos of families, you got men trying to save their families. I've seen this guy trying to get his family out of the fucking house. His little babies, man, his little girls, his little sons, they coming out. His wife's coming out. As soon as he come out, he gets shot. So many men willing to drop their nuts to save their family. I'm going to tell you something right now. It'll be a cold day in hell before I ever in my life put my children through some shit like that. And I'm going to tell you something right now. If it ever comes down to a situation where my children must experience the horror of war, you will suffer greatly. You will suffer greatly for taking away the innocence of my children. For making my children witness things that I try desperately to protect them from. America will end up in chaos, and I'm going to tell you when it do, for those of you that are responsible for it, there will be nowhere safe for you to go. You fucked up in assuming that Americans will behave like the rest of these world. You will not have hundreds of thousands of military-age Americans fleeing to other countries. You will not have hundreds of thousands or millions of American men running away. But instead, you will see us on the front lines. You will see us in the cities. You will see us everywhere. Because the minute that it goes there, there is no going back. We know exactly who to blame. We know it's the government. And there will be nothing to protect you at that time. Let massive terrorist attacks. Let things happen here in the state. There will be nothing to protect you. Nobody will give a fuck about their jobs no more. Nobody I will give a fuck about breaking the law no more. You will suffer. And those in uniform, you better take that shit off and you better burn it. And you better go and you better try your best to assimilate and pretend that you've always been on the side of the people because anybody wearing that uniform will not be looked at as friendly. You will be looked at as hostile. Let something happen here in this country. The same way 9-11 happened, that all those Americans died. We know our government was behind that. You are willing to sacrifice American lives so that you may line your own pockets and you to let all these insurgents come into our country. All that in the gods of immigration. Half these motherfuckers from the Middle East, from countries that hate us because of the government. It wasn't Americans who went into Iraq and who dismantled the entire government or who fucked up their way in life. It was a government. It was a government. And because the government has went around and the Republicans and the Democrats blame them too. Because the Republicans and Democrats are slaves who can't articulate their own thought. And they believe whatever their masters tell them. So they sit here and they supported all of these wars under the guise of fighting terrorism and all this other bullshit that they come up with. But now what's going to happen when they start fighting against us, the American people, hunting us down under the guise of we're terrorists? That shit is played out. I don't trust a single word that comes out of the mouth of my government. I do not trust my government at all. 
not as far as you could throw them. They want you to believe that China's pulling the strings. They want you to believe Russia and all these other foreign people are pulling the strings. They're doing exactly what they set out to do because y'all are slaves, easily manipulated. So instead of you realizing that the elites, the true elites, the, the, the true people who pull in the screens are live here right in America, embedded deep within our corporations and our government. Instead, you believe it's some motherfucker in Britain. You believe it's, it's some people overseas. You believe it's the Chinese. Yes, that's convenient for them. Because it gets eye, all eyes off of them. But no, it is a government as a whole. They've been compromised. They've been infiltrated. Y'all over here, you know, you got dudes hitting me up. Oh, what do you think about Israel, man? Like, we, like I don't give a fuck about Israel. I don't. And a lot of y'all will sit here and say, oh, yeah, you know, we need to send no money. Y'all yada, yada. Y'all always bring up some religious shit. I'm an American, unlike y'all. And last I checked, separation of church and state. No politicians to make any laws or make any decisions regarding religion, especially when it comes, oh, yeah, we're going to give you money. We're going to give you military support. And it ain't religion. Our founding fathers left Europe for that very reason. Europe was always engulfing war. Hell, Europe churches were some of the most evil satanic churches to exist. Let's call it real. They went and slaughtered millions. They killed millions, tortured millions. And for the simple reason, because they were heathens. They were heathens. That was a, their only their only crime in life was not being Christian. Our founding fathers knew that the church's influence is dangerous. It's like cancer among the people because a lot of people are just slaves. We see this in politics. They can articulate their own thought. Look what's happening in a lot of these places in the Middle East. So you got these uh, insurgencies that's that's rising out of pure like religious fever. And then you got the Christians who sit here and talk down on them as if y'all are innocent. As if y'all don't be killing motherfuckers for y'all religion. Y'all have been doing the same exact shit that the Muslims have been doing. Y'all know different. Literally. Let's 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 call it real. And our founding fathers knew that separation of church and state for a reason, for a reason. But to them, this is a holy war. And that's fine. Bring y'all asses here. We know y'all here already. Show out. Drop y'all nuts. Try something. Y'all gonna learn real quick that we the fucking people don't play around. Y'all gonna learn real quick that we we ready for this shit. This is the era of the warrior. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna fucking cower, run away, or hide in my own motherfucking country that I was born and raised in. Man, I'll fuck y'all ass up. I wish y'all would try some shit here. But just know we out here, man. I'm tired of everybody trying to walk around meek, oh, real Jesus, moving side. And shut your scary ass up. Everybody hide behind it. Oh, yeah, don't, don't talk. Our founding father said that patriots are loud. Our founding father said the patriots are the loudest ones in the room. But yet, you loyalists and tell us, oh, just be quiet, man. You know, the real ones walking. Shut your scary ass up. If you scared, just say that. Y'all sit here and y'all watch as they run over our border. Y'all watch as gangs take over the community. Y'all watch as drugs flood this community. Y'all watch as the government just fuck us in every way. And then you got people talking about some, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to fight against tyranny. You want me to do shit now. You ain't lost no umbrellas. You ain't been in no trenches. You ain't been shot at. You ain't ran for the police. You ain't did none of that. You a safe little boy working your nine to five while these motherfuckers not only infiltrate us, but our government prepared to attack us. And when they attack us, it will be coordinated and a lot of us will die. When your kids ask you, hey, dad, did you see it coming? Don't lie to them. Say, yes, yeah, son, I saw it coming. And I did nothing because I was comfortable. Be real. But for those of y'all, you know, that, that done came here, that I got your promises from the government and all the other shit, man, I'm going to tell you right now, fuck around and find out. You're going to find out real quick this ain't no serial. This ain't none of that. You're going to see hundreds of thousands of men on the street with rifles ready to fight you. You're going to learn the hard way. Yeah, you're going to learn. Even our own military can't stand against us. The fuck you think you're going to do? Yeah, you're going to learn. That's the era of the warrior. You want to live through this shit, you better get strong. You had to embrace God's law because God's real law is survival of the fittest. I don't go fuck what you believe in. Once all this shit collapses around, you only strong going to stand. Pray as much as you want to. Do whatever you want, but only strong going to stand. That's it. That's God's law. Survival of the fittest. It shows us that down to the bacteria, up to the birds, to the rats, to the wolves, to the coyotes, the whales, the dolphins, the sharks, all of them. They fight for food, territory, mate, and dominance. And human beings are no different. Y'all sit here and say, oh, yeah, you know, animals would be way better. You don't know shit about nature. Animals are brutal. I've seen animals being eaten while they alive, screaming, guts hanging out. This shit is for the strong. You got a society full of weak people that believe that what God cared for the weak. There ain't nothing in nature that shows you that God cares for the weak. There ain't nothing in, in, in society anywhere since the dawn of, of humanity. There has been a, a single shred of anything that's shown that God cares for the weak. The strong will inherit the world, period. The Christians, the Muslims, all of them, their religion spread through the strength, through the bloodshed, through the violence. That is it. 
country is conquered through the strength of violence. That is it. You complain because you're weak. I hate complainers. Drop your nuts and do something or shut up. And this shit that's happening now, we're going to see who really about that shit or who just talked. A lot of summer patriots. But I, for one, you ain't taking me without a fight. I put that on my brothers. I put that on the brotherhood. Perfect.